Imagine using one module to edit your photo. In this video, fantasy becomes reality. Let me show you how. So the only module we can use in this video is the color balance RGB one. Just go up here, type in color balance RGB, and there you have it. Make sure you activate the module, and now let's work with it. I'm going to do a couple of things, and that means I need a couple of new instances. But first, I'm going to work on some basic things. I want to increase the exposure a bit, and I want to increase the contrast. So first, I'm going to go up here, increase the contrast by quite a bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the global brilliance. If you move it to the right, the image becomes more bright. If you move it to the left, it becomes more dark. So let's move it to the right a bit, and then let's look at it before and then after. Right. Now go up here, click it, click new instance. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna decrease the exposure and saturation of the flowers up here because they really draw in the attention. So for that, let's go to masks, by the way, click contrast gray full chrome, let's go back. And now we're gonna work on the saturation and the brilliance grading again, but for the flowers or the reds in this case, in the flowers. So I want a mask as well. So I'm gonna go over here where I have a few options. So we've got drawn mask, parametric mask, and a combination of the two. That's what I'm gonna click. And then you've got the options for the masks up here. So you've got a circle and ellipse. You can add a path or you can use a brush or a gradient. In this case, I'm gonna click the path one and I'm just gonna click here to make sure that I kinda create a selection around the flowers because that's the area that I want to target and I don't want to target anything else. So I'm just gonna go quickly around. And then once you're done, click the right mouse button and the mask will be complete. Now, if you want to see the mask, you've got a button up here, which allows you to toggle the mask on and off. And then we've got our things up here where we can feather it, blur it, change the mask capacity. So how strong it is and the contrast as well. Now in this case, I'm gonna add some contrast. I'm gonna decrease the opacity. And what I'm gonna do here as well is make sure we've got enough feathering and blur, okay? Then click up here again, so you see the entire image and then click this little symbol that will deselect the mask element and that prevents you from seeing the lines all the time. Right, as said, I want to drop down the saturation when well, the flowers are in the midtones and in the highlights. Now, you can see what's happening when I move this slider. Here we go. And the same goes for the brilliance, where we kind of tone it down. Now, let's see a before and after. So, here's a before, here's an after. Now, one thing that what we did is, is we now added this, or we basically use this throughout the entire mask, right? But in this case, I only want it to target the reds. So for that, I need a parametric mask. Click this one, it's the most easiest one, the hue channel, and click this button, which allows you to set a range. So hold your mouse button, drag it, and that will show you where in this spectrum the colors are, right? Now, in this case, I do like to add in some more feathering. Here we go. And that makes sure that all the changes that we do are only being added into the reds and not in all the other parts of the flowers, right? Now we can even drop this down some more and let's do the same thing for the brilliance. Here we go. Now let's see before and after. So here's a before, here's an after, much, much better, right? Let's add in a new instance. And in this case, I want to target this area up here. So the sky, because it's very blown out right now. So for that, I'm just gonna use the drawn mask and I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna use the brush tool. And you can increase the brush size by scrolling away from you, decrease by scrolling towards you. And if you hold the shift and do the same things, you can increase or decrease the feathering around it. Now let me just paint over the sky. Now let's work on the feathering, the blur, the mask opacity and the mask contrast as well. Let's click it and I want to click this as well. And now I'm going to drop down the highlights. So bring back the details again and I'm going to drop it down all the way to 100%. And now that's done. What I want to do is I want to create a new instance again because now we will work on this tower. 
right? So for that, first I want to create a mask again. In this case, a drawn mask. I'm gonna use a brush and I'm gonna paint over this bridge. Then I'm gonna click this image again so I don't see the mask all the time. Now let's increase the contrast. And let's increase the colors as well by going to the perceptual saturation grading and just add in saturation basically everywhere. Now let's look at a before and after. So here's a before, here's an after. It's got a lot more color now. And then we can increase the vibrance as well. And now I just want to have a look how the first one looked and the new one. So I'm going to take a snapshot. I'm going back to the orientation one. Select the snapshot. And then we've got our edited photo on the left side and we've got the old one on the right side. Look at that. So we've got details in the clouds again. We've made the bridge and the tower pop some more and we've reduced the colors and the vibrance and the saturation of the flowers so that they don't really draw your attention as much as they did in the original version. And that's all while using one module.